Hi guys and welcome back to a new episode of Div by Div. Today we are gonna create a mobile first background video that we're gonna build in HTML and CSS. So let's get started. We are starting from some boilerplate, which is like an index HTML. Then we have a, a CSS folder with an app CSS and a JavaScript folder with the JavaScript. Uh, in this example, I don't think we need the JavaScript. And so I can move that to trash. I can remove this one from here. And uh, we have also a video MP4. That is the one uh, that we're gonna use as a background. I took it from pixels and so just for example you usually if you want to use a video for uh, uh, not only desktop but also for mobile you may want to have like two versions and load on demand the one that is more appropriate with the device so that um, you keep like uh, as much as you can high performance even if you know in general like by using video in the websites uh, it's gonna slow down a little bit the first load of the page but it's like as a trade-off you need to think about is it. like if you really need the video on the background or not and then uh, go from there anyway so if you want to uh, just to start uh, we're gonna create a video tag uh, we're gonna select the video mp4 as the as the source of the tag and then uh, as you see in our page it's going to show up our video this is not playing yet and um, uh, it, it has some problems of overflow also the margins we have the page that has like some some margins and so we want to fix this right but before that like uh, let's make this uh, video play to make it play it's very simple we want to do auto play we want to remove the sound that you potentially you're gonna use the muted uh, attribute but also um, in the same way I was like talking about performance before you may want to remove from the video itself the audio because that it can like reduce the size of the video uh, dramatically so you want to do that first and then uh, uh, what else science here you see that I I place like to play and then mute it but then when the video finished uh, you got this uh, uh, black screen so uh, what you want to do to fix that is just to say a loop and so that means that when the video finish it start over again another little trick that I want to give you uh, on this tag is to um, uh, add another attribute that is going to be very handy to play this video on iPhone if they, they are not in safe battery mode because if they are in safe battery mode the video won't play and will be like just uh, the first frame of the video is gonna display otherwise if you put like uh, plays in line this is fix your video on iPhones and uh, all Apple devices so once we do that um, we're gonna just do Fix the body borders around here, so it's like margins, so we can choose margin zero, uh, margin maybe margin zero, and this is gonna fix the border that we were seeing before. Then in the video tag, where usually you can give it a class, right now I leave it as uh, it's just a video tag as a selector. Uh, we just wanna do uh, to avoid the overflow, we say that the width. So, you know, Windows with it should be 100% of the page. And so, to see now, it's gonna be like this. But also, we want the height to be 100 viewport height. So, it's gonna cover the entire screen. But here, as you see, um, by default, this uh, the object fit property of the video is contained. And so, we want to have it as cover. So, we're gonna like. Uh, use all the available space plus uh, the image or in this case the video is not gonna be squished or um, or skewed based on like the sizes and the uh, original um, aspect ratio so 
To do this is very simple. We can do just object fit. Then by default, as I say, it's contain, right? But then we're gonna do cover. And so if we do cover, then as you see, you have like a nice um, coverage of the entire surface. If we go on um, uh, a mobile devices, uh, we're gonna be having like the same effect, like perfect, right? One quick thing and um, best practice for when you visualize on at least iPhone, um, since uh, usually you have like the bar on top and the bar on the bottom in your browser there, you might want to use not 100% pH, but I saw that the sweet spot by testing was 85%. So even if here you have like some white space, on iPhone will work perfectly. And um, here science, uh, you want to do you want to start from to code as mobile first as usual we can just add a media query that says screen and uh, mean width um, we say no the pixels and then from here we want to say in the big screens uh, we don't want to use 85 as 8 but uh, we want to use 100% uh, not 200 100 wage, this is not going to be overwritten. So we're saying that on the fonts we use 85 view H, viewport height, and on desktop we use all the available space. Cool. Do we want to simulate a more realistic scenario where we probably want to have a, a text as a title here with a subtitle and button that is a call to action? right so what we do from here we want to restructure a little bit our html and uh, basically we want to have something that is uh, wrapping our content uh, within it so we can have uh, a neural section wrapper and within it uh, we need to have uh, basically a content and we place the video within this hero section but outside of the content itself the content uh, can have basically uh, an h1 uh, with lorem 3 and then a paragraph lorem 10 and then a button uh, with the content like click me okay so now we, that we do that we see that uh, this content is added at the bottom of the page, but our goal is to place it in the center. And so to do this, we need to kind of like play a little bit with the CSS, but the uh, HTML structures should be fine like it is right now. So, uh, so what we do, we're gonna add like the hero section styling rules and uh, the content as well, styling rules. And uh, so what we want to change is that the fact that uh, <clears throat> the reason why this text is going to go to the bottom is because the video itself has a, uh, is positioned uh, relative. So um, by having it in this way, we can never achieve the um, overlapping of these two. So to do this, we need to make this video uh, position absolute. And uh, if we do that, uh, we can also uh, move these two parameters uh, in the hero section itself. Don't worry if the UI is breaking right now, but it's going to be fixed. So basically, the hero section is going to get the uh, 85 wedge and uh, with 100%, as well as the video itself that it should be 100% width and uh, also height 100% of the container so if you see here uh, and uh, if we go to the mobile you see that it's not uh, 85 which because uh, basically we need to have like this section also to 
be explicitly positioned relative so that the absolute positioning of the video is going to be relative to its parent container so now it's going to get 100% of the um, hero section rather than the body as it was doing before so now <clears throat> if we go back here we see um, that uh, we have like uh, this uh, ugly space white space and then we don't know why right so let me show you first uh, by adding like uh, uh, z index uh, <clears throat> minus one in the video the fact that we do have uh, uh, right now the content on top of the video so by doing this we see the content but then these spaces remain and uh, this because basically the h1 that we have here it has by default some margins and so we want to kind of like uh, have a reset for this so uh, we can remove the margin to the h1 and then everything's gonna look great now we still have like a, a little bit of problems because uh, for yes the text is on top of the video but also it's still a bit ugly because it's going to touch both of the extreme of the um, of the window and so we want to style it a little bit better than this uh, to do that we can easily add some padding uh, in the um, in the hero section uh, and uh, have it like uh, 30 pixel for example uh, but uh, you see that this is going to break uh, the uh, the video position as well right so what we want to do is to um, basically let's revert this and uh, we want to first uh, uh, place the content in the center of the screen vertically and horizontally to do that uh, we just uh, we have, there are different ways we can use the grid way for now that is like the simplest one in two lines of code and you can say place content center and it's gonna do align center and justify center basically and here we have it <clears throat> then uh, rather than have like the padding in the section that includes the video itself we want to put it in the content so here we can do padding 30 pixels and uh, so this uh, this way we're gonna have like what we wanted um, and uh, we are in a pretty good spot right now we just wanted to make things a bit a bit prettier as well so the button can be uh, we can remove the borders of this button we can add the padding uh, there can be 10 pixels and 20 pixels and uh, it's looking better we can say that the background uh, background color is gonna be white and so we want it like that and it's a bit better uh, we want also I think the text itself to be white and so to do that uh, we can just say <clears throat> uh, the color is is white here we can uh, change basically the font family to be uh, Arial Helvetica sans serif so it's a bit nicer like this and uh, we can say that the h1 is uh, font weight um, um, 800 well actually let's do the opposite let's say that uh, the p tag is uh, font weight uh, we want a 300 so it's thinner a little bit and uh, so now what we have we have like uh, this white text on top of a video but you see that it's not very readable in this way um, oh, by the way it looks great also on desktop right and uh, here what we want to do we want to make a nicer sense here we are in the desert uh, and we have some balloons um, and uh, the colors are pretty much warm so I want to create uh, 
an overlay that is going to stand between the background the video and the text that uh, can contain a gradient that can be something that goes from uh, an orange to a purple color so that makes everything like uh, nicer and the text that now is not readable much like it's not much readable it's gonna be easier to read so to do this I can do it in different ways one way I can do it is by using uh, <clears throat> the pseudo selector before in the euro section so I can just say before and uh, uh, here we're gonna say content is empty I can say position um, position is absolute and then from here I can say that the background uh, as I said before a background image I want a gradient so I want to use the linear gradient uh, and I want to do it uh, like 45 degrees uh, that goes from uh, orange red uh, to purple then I want that to cover the entire space available so I need to do top zero uh, right zero <clears throat> bottom zero and left zero now we don't still uh, well I mean like now we see that this is is nice as like a <clears throat> gradient uh, but it's covering everything and uh, we don't see anymore the text or the video so what we're going to do is to add some opacity here that can be 0 5 so it's becoming like a bit semi-transparent so it's on top of the video but it's also on top of the text so to make uh, these uh, <clears throat> the text on top of the, of the uh, overlay we want to <clears throat> the find that z index um, in the content and place it as one cool so after this i think we are uh, pretty much good to go um, code wise you can like uh, create some variables for uh, for the colors if you want just say white and uh, we can use this white everywhere we're using the white as a variable that for now it's just two places actually like that nothing changes and uh, um, here we can i mean orange red right now i'm using these colors but um, uh, you can potentially use uh, the ones you prefer and uh, you can just call it orange that is like your orange and uh, <clears throat> I can replace it here and uh, so if you want to use variable in CSS there we go so everything is more organized and uh, pretty and more readable cool so now you know how to create uh, fancy hero sections with background video and linear gradient i hope uh, you like this video if you do uh, please subscribe and i'll see you in the next one happy coding